Hey folks, today we'll talk about the supply equation. So in the demand equation, now we know exactly why demand slopes downwards, but now we're going to see why supply slopes upwards. And if you remember, we also have a linear equation, but now it's from the perspective of the producer, the supply curve. We're going to have Q sub S is a function of D, the x-intercept, plus the inverse slope of P. And here is what we call our supply equation. So unlike demand, notice how there is a positive sign in front of P, which means price and quantity are directly related. As the price of a good increases, producers will supply produce more. Again, you as a producer would want to sell at the highest price, so you are willing to produce more. Whereas if the price of a good you're selling decreases, it's not worth your time to be in the business, you are more likely to produce less. And this is why we see a positive direct relationship between quantity and price. Now we could also use random numbers to illustrate what we have here. We could put Q sub S equals, let's say, P. So now we can see if we were to make this more detailed, this can be plus zero to represent the x-intercept. And to graph this on a graph, we have x, which is the quantity, y-axis, which is the price, and our point of origin of zero. So for this producer, in order for the producer to produce even one single item, the price of a good should increase. If the price increases, I'll produce more. But for now, our x-intercept is zero. And here we can see the slope, the inverse slope of P, which would be run over rise as one. So we are going to run to the right, it's positive, and then we are going to rise by one to get the inverse slope. And once we have these two dots, we can connect and label this the supply curve. So again, like demand, we can actually model what producers' behavior looks like on a graph. And we can also show that we have an upward sloping curve, which represents the supply curve. So now I'm gonna bring back the demand equation from the previous video. And the demand equation we use in that video was Q sub D is equal to 10 minus P. And now we can also say that 10 on the X axis, there's 10, and we have a negative one inverse slope. We're gonna to run to the left, rise one, and now we're gonna connect those two to give us the demand curve. So lo and behold, we now have our market. However, the question is, at what point do both demand and supply intersect? We could look at the graph and maybe guess, but that may not be the best way to do so. So instead, an easier way is setting both quantity supply equal to quantity demand. QS equals QD. So since we have QS on the left-hand side, which is P, this is, this is equal to Q sub D of 10 minus P. Now we can solve for P. We have two P equals 10. Divide two on each side. Price is five. P Y axis is five. P Y axis is five. Now, what about the quantity? We can put P in any of these two equations. 
let's put P in QS. QS equals P. QS must equal 5. Or let's put Q sub D 10 minus P. Q sub D equals 10 minus 5. Q sub D would be 5. Quantity is 5. Quantity is 5. And this is how we would find the equilibrium quantity and the equilibrium price, point A, by setting both supply and demand equations together.